Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It, I know it's been a long time I haven't came and made a video showing my face. Um, so today I thought that before the ends here, let me do a quick video. Uh, actually, a lot was going on in my life. Uh, last year, my father passed away after prolonged illness, and uh, I was busy with the duties of my family, being the elder one in my family. I have all the responsibilities are on my head now, so I thought to take a break from this world of social media and uh, I was looking after the duties that I have as an elder child of the family. Um, today I came to do a small video on my skincare. I thought that it's a long due on me. Last time when I was on YouTube showing my face, I did a video on my daily life, start how do I step, start my day. And I had promised at that time that soon I will do a skincare routine of mine, but that didn't happen. So I thought of doing it today. So let's start with the moisturizer. This is the moisturizer I use on my face. Uh, I use a couple of moisturizer, two, three actually, depending on the condition of my skin. If it's very dry, I try to use uh, Clarence. Um, this one and if it's um, medium dry or normal my skin is very sensitive so it sometimes it becomes combination sometimes it becomes dry so when it's combination uh, I use this so today my skin condition is not that bad, it's quite normal. So I will be, so I will be using this. I need some more. It's very, very important that you cover your entire face while applying the moisturizer. Um, if you see that any part of your face is dry, pardon me, any part of your face is dry, then you should and you better apply moisturizer to get there once again. Some people have seen uh, putting on moisturizer like this much or this much. And some people have seen using moisturizer to the size of a coin, diam size. But I don't think any of the any of these way are white because every skin is different. Some have oily skin, some have combination skin, some have dry skin. So depending on that, some have sensitive skin, 
So depending on that, you should apply your moisturizer. Let me apply it like this so that I can cover. Okay. And it's very important to apply your moisturizer on your neck. Never neglect your neck. We have seen lots of uh, YouTube video which is based on skincare. Lots of influencers who make video on skincare, they have also said the same thing that never, never, never avoid or ignore your neck because when fine lines or wrinkles start appearing on your face or body it starts from here when it comes to face it starts from these places you will see the first sign of aging and wrinkles on your neck then on this area and then you will see on hand here so To be honest, the smell of uh, Sicily moisturizer is not that good, but the, I mean, uh, I don't like the smell that much. More than uh, Sicily, I prefer the smell, fragrance of Clarence moisturizer. But I think when it comes to hydration, Sisley is better than Clarence. Even though it's a bit thin texture, but it's also very important to apply your moisturizer on your ears. So I was still talking about texture. So it's very important and I mean texture of the Sicily moisturizer hydra hydration intense anti-aging moisturizer is very very nice the amount of moisturizer I have applied on my face from this bottle if I would have applied same thing on my face to Clarence it would have I would have needed more amount more amount of moisturizer Clarence is very thick uh, when it comes to the texture but they don't uh, give you so much of hydration which Sicily does every thing in this world have a positive side and a negative side, pros and cons. Sisley's pros is they are very hydrating and the cons is they don't smell good. So I will take some more just to touch up. Just like the way you touch up your makeup, you need to touch up your moisturizer also, just like sunscreen also. Okay. To be honest, I haven't put any extra moisturizer on my eyes, but Sicily is so well textured that when I was applying on my face, it automatically, and when I touched my eyes with that same hand, it automatically applied. You can see the texture of softness that usually get when I put on my moisturizer, Sicily's. Two things is very important 
and the two things are very important sorry uh, while putting on your moisturizer is to massage your face and there are two ways to massage it take your three fingers keep it here same thing here Two more times. This will not only um, help your moisturizer to set on your skin, deep, go deep down your skin but it will also prevent wrinkle and another thing you have to do is In case if there is any extra moisturizer left somewhere which you didn't dissolve, this technique will dissolve the moisturizer. So this is how I put my moisturizer. After that, I take my eyelash and grow tip treatment. And just apply it on my brow. If I will not go to sleep, then I will only apply it on my brow. So that's all I do for my skincare. Usually I wear lenses or my spec, but today I neither I'm wearing lenses nor I'm wearing spec. So I'm having a bit trouble to with my eyes to see properly. Whenever I don't wear my lenses or spec, I start to face allergies. So this is my uh, skincare routine. Beside this, I don't put anything more. In the daytime, I use this Sunscreen from Clarins. It's UV Plus Disc Cream Multi Protection Translucent SPF 50 Plus. And I have been using this for the last 15 years, I think. Same with this. I have been using this for the last 15 years. As far as my Clarins is concerned, this is also I'm using for the last 15 years. All my skincare product, I'm using them for almost more than a decade. And uh, at the moment, I'm sitting on my bed.
I know it's not right to do this before going to bed, but I love to do it because I love to smell good while I sleep and I like to smell good when I, when I wake up. So I usually, sometimes, not always, but when I feel like, when I'm in the mood, I feel like to spray some perfume on my t-shirt, on my on myself. Yeah, I do spray on my t-shirt when I go to sleep because I don't want to put on my skin. So as far as um, perfume is concerned, either I spray this from Armani, Armani Code, or I spray Echo Rigil from Armani. This one from YSL. It's Mont Paris from YSL. Or Black Opium from YSL. I have already showed you my perfume collection and uh, my vanity tour in one of my previous video so I hope you have seen that video already if you haven't seen you can check there <laughs> or there wherever it appears um, my vanity is full of my skincare, my perfume, my makeup, which I really use very less. I hardly use makeup. When it comes to makeup, I only use lipstick, eyebrow, I paint my eyebrow, I use lipstick and max to max eyeliner. So other than that, I don't put on any foundation or anything heavy that will cause harm to my skin. Usually putting on makeup, it's totally different perspective actually. Everybody has their own thinking, but I feel, and according to my dermatologist, Makeup doesn't suit everybody. everybody. Every skin are different. And my skin is very prone to makeup. They are not, my skin is not suitable for makeup. And I don't use makeup so much. But if I ever need to use makeup, then I go for lipstick, eyeliner. I paint my eyebrow with eyebrow liner. And that's it. Other than that, I don't use foundation, liquid, or anything of that sort. Eyeshadow, blush, nothing. Yes, I do buy them because I love buying makeup. And I use them on my mom when she go out. She loves to put on makeup. And I'm totally opposite. I don't like to put on makeup. I love my skin. I'm very much in love with my skin. I don't and I don't want to destroy ruin my skin by putting on makeup. I prefer to have a natural look than to have a painted look. But everybody has their own opinion, own way of living and own choices. No hard feelings and no offense meant to anybody but this is only I'm talking about only about, about myself I prefer to be with no makeup look because I believe if your skin is good if your skin is hydrated if your skin is glowing if you have a glow in your skin then you don't need a makeup and uh, I think touch wood 
my skin is quite good and I don't think I need makeup to look pretty or good. And personally, I don't like makeup. I don't like to put makeup. <clears throat> so, now I have shown you my skincare routine. I do very minimum for my skin. As far as my lips are concerned, I use uh, lip scrub twice or thrice a week, depend on my lips condition again, just like my skin. And uh, I use scrub from MAC. I use love MAC scrub for my lips, to scrub my lips. Then I put on Laneige lip mask, sleeping mask. Either I keep that for overnight or I wipe it out after 10 minutes, it depends. And if I wipe it out after 10 minutes, then after wiping out, I put on a lip balm and I go to sleep. At the moment, my lip is, lips is quite, uh, sorry, I just don't dust my lips or I, my pronunciation, pronunciation went wrong. So, uh, at the moment, my lips is quite dry because I just came out of the washroom washing my face. So at the moment, I think I will be scrubbing my lips and after that, I will be applying my sleep mask, Laneige sleep mask. I will keep that for 10 minutes or 15 minutes. But if I, and if I see that that's not helping me, my lips, then I will be keeping that overnight. And in the morning, I will wipe it out. I'll drink some water and I will put on my lip balm. So that is very much my routine. I know uh, I don't speak so fancy or so fr friendly like other influencers. I'm very reserved kind of a person in real life. And I prefer to be natural than to be too hunky-dory or too funny or too happy-go-lucky. I prefer to be myself. And that's why I take a lot of time to speak when I am on YouTube. And that's why maybe lots of people do not like to watch my video, but I can't change myself for others. If I will change myself for others to gain sub subscriber or to get likes, then I will be cheating my subscriber and also myself. I have to be honest with my subscriber and with myself. What I am inside, I should show it that outside. And this is what I am inside. Simple and the way you see me. I don't know how much, how many people do watch my sub video and how many people will watch my video, this one that I'm making now but I will I would be very happy if you will let me know that what would you like to watch on my video next what kind of you know, video would like to see from me what you would like to see whether you would like to see my uh, skincare collection my makeup collection my outfit collection my bag collection my diet which i have very bad i don't have a good diet I, i'm very bad with my diet and that's why my weight keep on fluctuating up down up down up down <laughs> sometimes i some week i look fat some week i look slim because of my diet my weight keep on fluctuating so i would like you to tell me on the comments below that what kind of video you would like to see from me and I will try to make as much as video I, I can. I know I have taken a long break from YouTube, but I had, like I said, I had some issues. But now 
things are getting settled down slowly and steadily but uh, i will try to make it make more videos at least one video a week for all of you but for that i need your help and your support and i will like you to inform me to tell me what video and what type of video you would like to see what you want me to make on what topic you want to see my video on what topic you want me to make my video you know so i'll be waiting for your comment to comment down below and let me know thanks for watching if you have enjoyed my video please like this video share it with your friends subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my video and please comment your support means a lot to us your support means a lot to us thank you